Imagine being lost at sea. At that terrifying moment, you wish you had a search and rescue team that can find you as quickly as possible. The Integrated Ocean Observing System, or IOS, is working with the Coast Guard to make this possible. IOS has the tools to track the speed and direction of ocean currents. Better data allows the Coast Guard to focus their search and save lives. Well, when we get a call, we know that somebody's in distress. They're out on the ocean, battling Mother Nature. It could be a nor'easter, it could be a hurricane. And at that moment, you gotta be able to take your helicopter crew and go and potentially change their life. You get that call, we'll sound our search and rescue alarm. The whole air crew who's on duty springs into action. You're hustling, you're trying to take off as fast as you can. You have these competing emotions of adrenaline and urgency battling with uh, your professional training to effectively do your job and bring your crew home at the end of the day. Locating somebody in the ocean can be very challenging you quickly realize how big the ocean is. And the whole time you're looking outside and it's just empty blue water. The oceanographic data that we use building our search action plan is critical. The closer that information is to real time, the more efficient, more accurate the rescue. We're sending data once every hour to the Coast Guard servers so that if they get a distress call, they have immediate access to that data. What the system does is it sends out radio waves and based on the way that that signal changes we can figure out how fast that ocean wave is moving. And it's unique in that it provides a map of surface currents. As part of IUS, we can even generate forecasts to help plan for things like a missing person. It's the scientific data that backs up what our theory is about where this vessel or person is drifted. Without environmental data, it'd really be just guessing. It'd be almost like looking for a needle in a haystack out there on the ocean. 